Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's time to get real. Are you ready? Um, all right. So today I post your motivation is going to come from a podcast called Max Effort. And it's about s separating yourself from your old self or separating yourself from like the herd or the pack by doing just a little bit more than either you used to do or doing a little bit more than everyone else does. And I posted that um, on this page. So listen to that because um, I can't recreate it. It was awesome. I can't, um, I can't do it justice. And I just wanted you to listen to it, you know, what he said. So listen to that. It's, you know, 25 minutes or so. Um, put it on while you're, you know, cleaning the house or taking a shower in the car or at your desk or whatever. Um, and Tammy, Tammy G, thank you for sharing that um, and sending that to me. So I need to start, I need to subscribe to that podcast because I think he's awesome. But um, so as I was listening to this, I was thinking, okay, it's about, you know, separating yourself from either your old self or the herd. And I was thinking, what do I do to separate myself from, from those two things? And the first thing I could think of was I separate myself, I'm separating myself from my old self, who I used to be, by getting up every morning and uh, practicing these success habits that not only did I read about them, but I put them into action. And so by typically by the time I leave for work in the morning, look at, oh, this is a tracker I created myself. I have nine out of my 10 success habits done for the day. And the only thing I don't have done is drinking my 64 ounces of water. So I'll do that throughout the day. So that's the first thing. The second thing that I could think of that kind of separates me, what I do to separate myself from the hurt is I get up early. I get up like between 4.30 and 5 every morning when I'm in that separation season, when I am doing what I need to do. And right now I'm in that season. So uh, I get up early. I use my time for my success habits and I use my time to prep and prepare and to um, eliminate the excuses that I have for not eating well, not working out, um, not getting done all the things that I need to do. And so what I thought I would do today, just in that effort of separation, is kind of show you um, how I prep and prepare and separate myself from that excuse of the old me of not having time to cook, not having time to clean, not having time um, to get um, a healthy meal on the table. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make my meal for you. I have to be to work by eight at 7.30. So this is not gonna take long. Last night when I came home, um, I had, um, I was in the kitchen talking with Robin and I just started thinking, all right, what am I gonna do for dinner tomorrow? I already had dinner yesterday planned. I ate it and I was good. So I wasn't coming in starving and not having a plan and going through the cupboards and just eating, you know, pita chips. So I started thinking about today and asked her for some suggestions. She wanted some bourbon chicken. I'm like, all right, I didn't have everything I needed. I'll adapt and make it work. And uh, last night I got the, um, the rice cooked. I baked some cornbread last night, which I already had a little piece. It was really good. And then, but it's gluten-free, so you know that it's magic cornbread. And then I got the asparagus um, all trimmed and ready to throw on the pan that I already have foil on. So I'm sticking this on my stove so that the first thing when I come in uh, from work tonight, I'm going to turn my oven on to 500 degrees, let it warm up, throw the asparagus that's already been cut and prepped onto the pan that's already been prepped, throw a little olive oil and salt on it. When it's ready, I'm going to throw it in the oven for three minutes. So that's all the cooking, so to speak, that I have to do. Uh, last night, I also took the chicken out of the freezer that I was going to um, make today. And you don't even have to. I just, if because I'm putting it in a crock pot. Um, so I put I took the chicken out, stuck it in a pan. And now it's ready for me just to throw into the crock pot. So, and then I made the bourbon, quote unquote, bourbon sauce in, if you can see, a Southern butter pecan um, 
What's this stuff called? What's this stuff? You guys, what is this called? You know, the Italian ice cream, or whatever. This, I, this ice cream. So, um, gelato, there it is. So, I save these containers because they're perfect for making marinades. You just stick all the ingredients in there, um, stick the lid on and um, screw it in, or I mean, shake it up. So, and then this is my bourbon chicken recipe, which I will post later. It's just chicken breast, uh, garlic. I stuck that in there. Um, ground ginger and crushed red pepper. I stuck that in there. This is all last night. A quarter of a cup of apple juice. So I didn't even measure like that much. Um, brown sugar. I didn't want to put brown sugar. I put a little bit of honey, like a tablespoon or two of honey. Uh, ketchup, cider vinegar. I didn't have cider vinegar. So I used balsamic, whatever. And I think I had like a little bit of rice vinegar left. So I threw that in there. Um, water and then soy sauce. And I don't use typically soy sauce. I usually use liquid aminos. And so I threw all that in here and it's been in the fridge overnight. So now literally today, before I go to work, I open the chicken. Okay. And throw this out and then open this chicken. This is still a little bit frozen. I originally was going to do this with pork. But um, Robin wanted chicken, so which we eat a ton of chicken. I was actually originally going to make some pulled pork, but it didn't have any barbecue sauce. I didn't have really anything to make barbecue sauce, so I just said, forget it. I guess we'll do this. So I'll throw this in here. Boom. Chicken is in there. Make sure all the papers are off. I'm going to give this one more quick shake. Again, I made this marinade last night. I'll post the recipe later. I dump it in. I stick this in the sink. Let me grab a towel. I put the lid on. Okay, that's it. Let's see if I can point this this way. See if you guys can see me. I throw this in here. Turn it on low. You guys. Dinner's done. <laughs> so again, I did as much as I could do last night. Now, before I leave for work, I throw everything in a crock pot. Uh, the only thing I have to make when I get home is the asparagus. Now, I don't have to worry about what's for dinner. I don't have to worry about at five o'clock when I'm coming home and I've worked all day that I'm starving. Okay. I feel like that's one of the ways that I separate myself from everyone else or from my old self or from making excuses. So um, think about, listen to that podcast that I that I posted by Max Effort, um, compliments of Tammy G. And then um, think about what it is that you do or can do or will do in order to separate yourself from everybody else. Because you guys, that's we, he said, we are separated by inches. People at the top are separated by inches, not miles, not, not yards, not feet inches and it's just that one more rep, rep or that one more dinner or that uh that getting up that 10 minutes earlier um just that you know half an hour when you come home from work that you spend um calling somebody connecting with somebody or you know sending emails to you know further your business whatever it is just those inches that is going to help us to be the winner and separate ourselves from the herd so um hope you guys have a great day i plan to and i will see you later i'll maybe i'll post um pictures of my food later go ahead have a great day peace